Speak about yourself. Okay, Kisa Gekle is a determined survivor. Yeah, yeah. An actress, a producer, I sell me watches and um, yeah, that's all for now. So what brought you into entertainment, acting? Okay, okay, for acting, that was when I was young, uh, there was this woman in my area who said I looked like the late Susie Williams, Vicky Zuga, and then sometimes Beverly Afaglu. So, and then I had dropped out of school. So that motivated me back to go, like, to go back to school. And after that, I, I got some good um, links back in high school as well, and then I came into Gallywood and into the movie industry. What, uh, how... And about the producing, okay. about the producing, when I started, people were not actually calling me for jobs. I was always like um, calling people, give me a job, give me a job, and then to nobody knows me. So I had money and I was like, okay, it's better I produce for myself. So I started producing and that gave me, gave me the links in the industry. Where did you grow up? Volta Original Flower. Okay. And uh, why did you drop out? Why did you have to drop out before? Uh, because there was no money. For school fees. So, so I assume you came to Accra when you started acting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, how long has the career been? Uh, that's from let's say 2013 till now. 2013. Yeah. Okay. How many films? Uncountable. Uh, a lot of it. Some of your more memorable ones. Okay, we have um, Thank God It's Friday, Bloodline, What's My Wife Doesn't Know, um, uh, Blue Hearts, Sacred Desires, um, and 8 p.m., Accra Hustlers, uh, Adam My Love, Valentine Madness. That's all I can remember. So, now. There's, been, there's been quite a few of them. Yeah. Which which ones would you say you enjoyed making, whether producing or acting? Got producing, I would say I really enjoy my two movies, Accra Hustlers and then Thank God It's Friday. And the one I've done for people that I so much love, that everybody loves now, it's um, Blue Heart. Blue Heart? Yes, or uh, Deliver Us from Eva. Okay, which, which actors do you feature? Okay, Deliver Us from Eva is it's, uh, I'm, I'm in there with Christopher Ike and one Nigerian actor, I've forgotten his name, he's an elderly actor. And uh, Messi Mac Joe, Pascal Amanfo, Chidos, Kalista Okoronko, that's all I can remember. So, for someone who's been in the uh, film industry for at least six years, uh, what are some of your observations? Why, why is it? looking like it's not thriving, why, um, why are there problems as they are? Uh, I was, I'll not speak as an actress in this case, I'll speak as a producer. The reason why it's not really going is because when you do a movie, let's say you are investing maybe thousand Ghana cities into a movie, right? We don't have DSTV in Ghana, we don't have Roku TV in Ghana, we don't have any big markets in Ghana for movie. It's only the Oprah Square. Oprah Square, cities don't sell anymore. Everything, it's on the internet. And we don't have anything of that sort in Ghana. So we are, you have to do a job, take a flight to Nigeria, go talk to DSTV, go talk to Iroko. Sometimes they reject your job. And then when they reject it, that is the end of your money. You have to now start struggling for this small, small YouTube channel to put your movie. Some will tell you that give us three months and we'll pay your money and all of that. So because of that, you can't be throwing money away. Like me, I'm tired of throwing money away. So you produce two films? Yeah, two uh, films. What about the acting? Do you, do you think there's enough talent? Um, yeah. Are we putting out enough talented works? Yes, there are a lot of good jobs out there. Uh, what's one of your favorites in the, in, in the industry right now? In Ghana. Acting talent. I'll go for... Uh, Okoro, I'll go for Jackie Apia, and um, I'll go for Eva Nelson, for the girls. Yeah. And for the men? I'll go for JT Anand, um, Majid Michelle. Just those two? And John. John? John Jumelo. Right. Okay. So, how old are you? 
I turned 27 a few days ago. Okay, so uh, I believe you said one Thank you. Thank How much does it cost to produce a film that average? It depends on the kind of movie you are making. If you are looking at making a, a big movie for Netflix, all those like the general Vivinaji kind of movie, you should be looking at a very high, high budget. But some people can use like, I don't want to mention any, some very low budget to shoot. Now it's all about shooting with understanding. That is why there's no money. Actors and actresses are not getting money because it's like shooting with understanding. And let me come in as a producer. You, you have to shoot with understanding now because when you shoot, you may not make your money back. So you have to talk to your friend. Oh, maybe, maybe my friend is Akos or Fela or... Yeah, I'll be like, oh, Fela, what's up? You know, when I'm coming to shoot, can you do this for me? And I have this. I know you, you, you can take like maybe 2,000, but I have just 500. Because she, she herself knows that the thing is not going. You produce and you will lose the money. You understand? You, you, you are not guaranteed of making back your money when you produce. Still would like you to put a figure to how much it cost you. Um, for my first film, that was 2012. I didn't use much. I used um, it was in Giza. I did, I did um, no, Edinate and Bismarck the Joe Pascal directed. It wasn't that much. That was 20, yeah, 2012. But Tango this Friday, which was made 2016. Uh, I used 65,000 dancers. Yes, because I put in Majid there, I put Bismarck. It was like a three cast and myself, and then Pascal, Pascal's wife, and some few actors. But you know, Majid is very expensive. So, so solely funded by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you make a profit? I mean, that's a question for every producer. Did you I, I said I will not throw my money away again. I didn't make oh, profit. So you didn't even break even? Not really. Because at the end of the day, the people I trusted that they could link me to the higher places to sell my film. I didn't want to say this out there, but then they were all disappointed. Uh, so, what have you learned so far as a producer? And how are you taking it into your future? Have you said that you don't want to throw your money? I'll produce again when I have all the money and then I don't have anything to do with the, with the money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what inspired you into acting? I said that earlier when someone said I look like the late Susie and I have to go back, I have to go back to school and then uh, play a twin sister with uh, Vicky's, um, Vicky and then uh, Susie Williams. That was the that was the whole dream and like oh you look like I'm like oh yeah are you sure yeah okay then me I'll go back to school. Uh, how has fate treated you so far? Um, one thing about me is that I'm always back in my village. Uh, I'm like I'm when when it, when you go to my village, I'm, I think I'm bigger than Jackie Apia in my village because of how I lived my life. I was very stubborn. So I was enjoying that, and then this one is it's just a normal thing. But how is it that I mean, just a few years ago, some people could walk past you. Mm -hmm. Right now, they go like, oh, isn't that the Yeah. How are, you, how are you taking that? Uh, I just feel it's normal. Like, I just, I like it anyways. And when they come close to me, they ask me questions. How did you do it? I feel happy you know but it's not something that has eaten into my head if you check very well i'm very low low key like extremely low do fans make requests of you yeah of course what are some of the weirdest requests fans have made of you being a female um all the time they go like um we want to have a dinner with you we want to have lunch like get that every day someone to travel with me those are the requests here. Yeah. And then a lot of dates. I want to date you. I like you. I want to be your boyfriend. Is... No, no. If you, if you want to let that thing enter your head, ah, you can't, you will do everybody. You can't, you know, you have to restrict yourself. Have you done the So I was started as a fan. Yes, I have. You dated? Yeah. But you started off as a fan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, are you still with the person? No. That was a long time ago. Okay. 
So, then again, there are lessons from there. How do you get, you know, close to fans? Ah, uh, I'm a very easygoing person, um, and I'm so nice. And because of my niceness, I hate to get closer to people because I don't want people to take advantage of my niceness. So I, when you write me, when I see it, I'll, I'll respond. Uh, but to say I want to give you my number, to meet you up, it's not going to happen. But I can be nice. I reply that. People go like, oh my God, you replied. I don't know you can reply. And I go like, what's all this? We are just normal. Like, I'm not, I can tag like cloth around my neck, drive and come and buy something around, go back to my house. Like, so I don't see myself as like, oh wow, oh you replied me. Just nobody. So, when, when you are not acting, what, what are you doing? When you're not acting, what are you doing? I'm selling watches and uh, I'm flying around the world. I love globe trot. Okay. How many countries are you doing? I can't count that right now. I think we sang the hour for Europe to to Belgium, Germany, Holland, uh, Switzerland, Ukraine. That, that's recent. But then I've been to UK, I've been to, I've been to South Africa, I've been to Nigeria plenty of times because I do lots of movies in Nigeria. I've been to Dubai, I've been to Congo, I've been to Kenya, I've been to Gambia, I've been to Zimbabwe, places I've been so far. So, uh, for many Ghanaians, Okay. Who are, you know, observers of the entertainment scene. Mm -hmm. They feel like most of these actresses, mm -hmm. unfortunately, it doesn't come for the men, it comes for the women. They feel that like most of these actresses are, you know, they have to put themselves out there in a rather undignified way, in order to make ends meet. Undignified way, but as in like. like they have to put your body on the line, like physically. Physically, physically putting yeah. your body on the line. line. Is it, is it true, first of all, is it true that some have to do that? that yes, yeah, some, you know, because I remember when I was talking to a very big actor, I mentioned his name among the top three. And he's not one of them. No, 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 he's not one of them. No, he was, he was actually telling me, it's all about that putting out the body there. I asked him that, I mean, I don't want to be like that. I used to be like that way back 2013, 2014. When you go on Google, you, call, you see my name, Kista. You see, I was always naked, showing this, that. You know, I was the kind of like the ebony type those days. I used to do music. I don't even know that part of Kista. I used to sing. So I've, I've done that before. So now it's like, it's something like, oh, I don't want to do it. But when I told my friend that ah, this is what is happening, everybody's doing body, you know, they do the surgery, then you put it out there, you display 24 seven, it brings men. And what he said was like, yeah, he said, there is no job like that. So if you, if you want to be relevant, you need to be doing those things to be relevant. I'm like, ah, boss, how? He said, oh yeah, but that's what it is. And I'm like, okay. So that is it. So one of the three, Let's not concentrate on that. No, no, no. no. We, we, one of your three favorites. Yeah, I said which, uh, you have to be relevant by putting this thing out there. But I think it's not, to me, it's not necessary. Because how long can you put the body out there? And if you've done surgery to look appealing or nice or always do naked, naked, to be appealing to the men, how long can you do it? You will get married, you will have kids. So to recap, one of the three men, Ajit Anand, John Dumelo, and Majid Michelle, one of those three told you that they told you that <laughs> please <laughs> the way you made it now <laughs> I have to recap, it's my job oh yeah <laughs> Oh no, but, but that is the point. There's no job. How many jobs, like, how many producers produce movies in a year? So the point is that most of these girls want to be relevant. You understand? They always want to be on the internet. They always want to trend. Like, you know, uh, Kisa, 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 Kojo, 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 Ama, Ama. That is what they want. So you have to put something out there all the time for people to talk about. Not every, not everybody can do that. Like me, I can't have that energy because I, I have a lot of things to do this year to be, you know, channeling my energy to, to those body, body, body thing. I don't even have the body stuff. So. Do you personally know of any actresses who intends giving their own to the top? A lot of people do that. 
do you, do you personally know someone? I know a lot of them, I can't mention names. It's understandable. Yes, fine. Uh, okay, so you, you mentioned that you are into uh, selling mail watches, and I have a bakery too. I have a bakery. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you can't tell us what your next, your, your, your next project okay, is going to To produce, hmm, uh, you know, because because it's my passion if if i just i can get up today and then stop like i can say i'm producing tomorrow it's my passion it's something i love to do so i just can't tell when but then anything can happen even though i've thrown my money away so well you have a wife right? at the moment i'm single and dating clarify that uh, any of them you want to take, you can take that, oh, she's single, you can take, oh, she's dating. Any of them you are comfortable with, I'm fine. Okay, so if there was someone watching right now who wants to look at what the mixed signals, don't you think if you put them off? No, the person can decide if you want to take single, you can go for it. If you want to take, oh, she's dating, you can go for it. Yeah. Okay, so would you advise people to actually go into acting? Having seen the problems that you have seen, both as an actress and a producer, would you advise people, individuals, to make it a point of making it their career for that reason? For now, to be an actress, if you are young and you want to be an actor or an actress, the point is that it is not easy. You would have to do a lot to be relevant. That's the trending of the gram. You have to always expose your body and all of that. But if you're a guy, it's very difficult. If you're a woman, too, it's very difficult. I would advise the young ones that if you want to be an actress or an actor, get a job for yourself. Be doing something. You have to like be doing something for yourself that gives you money at the end of the month or at the end of the week before you can add the acting to it. But if you if you just want to leave everything and come, please you go hungry. You die of hunger. What's your kind of man? My kind of man? I don't even know. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. I don't even know. Anybody created in the form of a man, I'm fine. Interesting uh, answer. Okay, so back to the film industry. Okay. What would you advise? something that can be done to improve uh, the film industry? Um, the things that can be done is um, using, like, um, getting the right script, the right story, and then producing a good movie. Even when you produce a good movie, it's still not going to be easy for you to make back your money because Thank God is Friday is one of the best. Yoko shows that movie, like, every week because it's a very good movie but it is not easy to still make your money back that is the thing so you just need god even though i have god but it's still not easy okay um how do you treat negative uh, press negative publicity how do you treat it you know i started with a lot of negativity like what polo is doing what ebony did it was i was i was on top of that game before those days when I was young and stupid, you understand? Um, I just, I just, I don't even value it. It's, my time is very, very important. Like, so I just see it, go like, if I like, I delete. If I like, I just keep it there and go my way. I don't really care, that's the thing. What do you think about those who are doing it right now? You mentioned... It's, no, no, oh no, no, it's their time. Let them enjoy it. You know, this life, you will die alone. You will die alone. You will face judgment alone, if there is any, actually. And uh, when you're suffering, you're suffering alone. When you're hungry, you're hungry alone. So you have to do whatever makes you happy. Whatever puts food on your table, whatever makes you happy. That is the point. Happiness and then what, whatever fills your stomach. Go for it. So me, I don't, I'm not really against anybody. Are you religious? Extremely. Extremely religious. Yeah. Would you say there are challenges as a religious person? There are a lot of challenges uh, in life. Uh, no, with regards to being in the entertainment business. Yeah, there are a lot of challenges. What are some of them? The, the guys coming and all of that. And then you, sometimes, like, um, 
you have to wear some dresses, you have to do some roles, you know. Those are the challenges I face. Yeah, smash. 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 Over smash. Over smash. <laughs> over smash. Over, over, over smash. Boy. Over smash. You serious right now? I promise you. Pass. He's an old man. I don't do old men. Okay. Right. Is that? Oh, the very short guy. Ah, yeah. uh -uh, it's a pass. How? He will enter my body and he will not come up. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I think uh, Smash, yeah, Smash. Number one. Over Smash. Why? Because, uh, you know, he was giving our girls money, he didn't give me some. That's the most annoying part. Yeah, I like the point that the guy is smart, you know. Not that he has come our people, though, but I like the smartness. To be able to create that kind of concept to do the whole Ghana. It's not easy to have peace in your heart, sleep. Wake up, okay, and you know what you're doing. The guy is fucking fun. But the point is that me, I don't really feel the flow because he didn't give me some of your money. Okay, we'll have to take out the word. That, yes, that's fine. Okay, so uh, JJ Rollins. Oh, the man is still online. Yeah, smash. Okay, then John Mahama. Yeah, smash. Asamuaja. Pass. <laughs> He's fine. Yeah? Why? Uh, why was he? <laughs> Pass. Okay. <laughs> right, that's fine. Okay, and then uh, finally, KSM. It's okay, that old one. I'm always in the gym with him. Yeah, smart, it's just fine. Thank you. Okay, then the last one, you have two choices. Okay. And then uh, tell me which one. BM or Benz or BM? Benz. Manchester United or Chelsea? Chelsea all the way. Jalof or Wachi? Jalof. Ghana or outside Ghana? Ghana. Gollywood or Hollywood? And this one, yeah. Charlie, Hollywood. Oh. <laughs> Let's be frank. As a Gollywood producer. Uh, everybody is aiming at the top now. Do you always want to be here? You want to upgrade? Hollywood is Hollywood. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Acting or producing? Both. This one, there, yeah. Acting, producing. Okay. Condom or raw? Chai, skin to skin. Wrong. Yeah. Business or school? Business though, Charlie. Business will give you money to eat. School, you have to be feeding, you have to be paying school fees. Me, me, I'm a business girl. Basically, that's, that's all the questions. Right, that's fine. Is that anyone who wants to so that we can put it in the video for the free recording? Smash or pass? I live for smash or pass. <laughs> or, and then for, uh, you know, would you play um, romantic scenes, like new, like, like, like that kind of new scene in a movie? Like sex, like half of it. No, but the sex in movies are not real. Excuse me, they're not real. Oh, of course. So recently, uh, a colleague uh, removed her panty on a live uh, movie. By television? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because she was too young. Why? Because she was too young. As a lady, how do you take that in? How do you see? How do you feel if a colleague on a live stream with a team could go to that extent. Mm. I don't want to speak against it and I don't want to speak for it. I don't know in what context that had to happen. I, 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 I've not followed the kind of thing they were talking about, you understand? So to me, I won't say it's bad and I won't say it's good. Um, I love to always be at my side. At what extreme can you go to make a name for yourself? Let's say you don't, yes, let's say uh, you don't have a name, but then you are make, you want to make a name. At what extreme? One thing my mom like told me is name doesn't feed you. Popular, you know, popularity only brings guys. You only make the money out of the guys if you want to sleep with them. So it's all about selling yourself 
so i will not say i want to go very very extreme to become popular or to have a name what am i going to do with the name that's a question i i want to be relevant in a way to understand so for me i will not go very extreme to get a name when jackie and co started there was no competition nobody takes off dresses nobody does it's all about work you understand so me now it's all about work i'm coming up with something that is going to be work 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 that work will put me out there in a very nice way i don't need to struggle to get a name have you ever been been offered a role or have you been tempted to be given a role or if only you sleep with let's say a director or a producer on on set never because i started as a producer and then one thing I say is that if somebody has to sleep with me for a role, then I would go and sleep with someone, get money and shoot. Because the director or the producer will not dash money. Do you understand? So I'd rather go and do it somewhere that I'll get the money and I'll produce it myself and I'll own it. Right? Uh, let's clarify, I'm not sure if you're taking this to the video. Uh, All right. Your first film, is it 2012 or 2013? 2013. 13. Yeah, it was shot late 2012, December. I came out 2013. 13, yeah. 